You clicked on this video because you're suffering from anxiety or depression. Maybe it's depression. You find yourself struggling to get out of bed in the morning, struggling to have the motivation to do anything at all. Or maybe it's anxiety. Maybe you struggle to leave your house because you're just anxious about leaving your house. I have dealt with all of those things from the ages of around nine to 18 years old. I didn't leave my fucking house. I remember when I was younger, I was about eight years old. Me and my family would always go out to eat, but I couldn't eat. And I would always go to the restaurant. I was some Mexican restaurant. I would end up puking in the bathroom because I was just so anxious. I don't even know what it was. I didn't know it was a thing. I didn't even know anxiety was a thing. And as I got older, it got better. But one time I was 13 years old, me and my friend, we had this trail that goes from my house all the way to Publix. And it was the woods in the backyard. I was 13 years old. And me and this group of guys were walking through this trail in the woods. And one of my friends had brought some weed with him. We jerry rigged this pipe with a toilet paper roll and we cut a center of the toilet paper roll out, put aluminum foil over the top and put the weed on the top of the aluminum foil. We poked some holes in the aluminum foil and then we lit up. And I didn't know that weed wasn't like nicotine. With nicotine, you hit a vape or whatever and you instantly feel the buzz. I didn't know that weed wasn't like that. I thought as soon as you hit the weed, you just get like a, uh, uh, you just feel high. I never been high. And as we're walking, I'm closing my eyes. I don't feel anything and I'm acting like I'm high. I'm like this. I'm like, ha, 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 ha. And I walk with my eyes closed for about two or three minutes because it's an open field on the way to Publix. And as I'm walking, I'm like, ha, ha, I open my eyes and I felt like I was in a fucking different world. I look around and it felt like I was watching my own character. It felt like a video game. And I just flip the fuck out. I would just start screaming. I'm like, help. Uh. And we walk into Publix and I'm screaming help. I'm just like, help, help. And my friends are like, bro, shut the fuck up, bro. Shut the fuck up. And I'm like, someone help. And I pull out my phone to like try and distract myself. And when I look at my phone, it just freaks me out more because it looks looks like a fucking like video game. Like I could see my phone, but it just felt unreal. I felt like I was watching myself, if that makes sense. So I'm screaming and my friends are like, bro, go to the fucking bathroom. So we go to the bathroom and I'm sitting there and I, and I go to the toilet. I'm taking a shit and I'm sitting there crying, taking a shit. And I'm like, oh, help me. And I'm just sitting there like this with my dick out. And my friend's like, bro, what are you doing? I'm just like, oh. <laughs> and I call my dad. I'm like, dad, I'm high as fuck right now. I smoked weed and I'm freaking out. My dad's like, oh shit. So my dad drives to Publix and I just start puking everywhere. As soon as he walks in the door, I'm just like, Ugh, and I puke all over the entire Publix bathroom. And then my dad cleans the puke up and we drive home and I'm grounded. But every single day after that, I felt like I was high. I missed school for like a week because I would go to school and I felt like I was high and I would go to the bathroom, cry, call my mom, mom, please come pick me up. I don't feel good. I feel like I'm tripping. I feel like I'm high again. Uh. And I, I felt like I was high every single day for like a year after that. I could not leave my house. And after about a year of feeling high every single day, it slowly got better. My relationship grew with God because I was just begging the God to take all this away from me. As I got older, I didn't feel like I was high every day. But when I got out into situations like going to football games or going to the gym or leaving my house, it instantly would come back to me. And I would feel like I was high and I would just start flipping out every time I went out of my house. Usually I would feel high when I'm at my house, but it got better. So I wasn't feeling like I was high at my, at my house. I would use like video games or something to distract me because that was like the only distraction. Because if I wasn't distracted, I would just feel like I was high and I'd go to my bathroom and I would just throw up. So I missed prom. I missed homecoming. I missed every football game. I didn't leave my house. I basically had no friends. I didn't do anything all of high school and all of middle school. I know a funny story. One time I was 14 years old and I had gotten my first girlfriend and she came over to the house for the first time. And that entire time I puked before she came over. And when she came over, we were in my backyard just talking. And I was so anxious and so nervous that I just went to like a tree and I just started puking. And I didn't eat all day. And I just puked up a bunch of water. And she's like, what's wrong? I was like, oh, uh, nothing. I'm, I'm fine. I just, I try to like thug it out. Like, I'm a grown ass man. I'm fine. I'm just puking. And then I had to meet her dad. I think that's why I was so anxious. I don't even know. Maybe it was just a fact that she was coming over. I don't know. And when I turned 18, I started to think in like this new mentality. Mentality. And this mentality was, I'm not going to let these thoughts take over my brain. And I got control of my brain. It's kind of like you just don't think about it. If you start to trip out because, oh, no, I'm going to go to the, this next city or this or this football game or whatever. Or what's it going to you just don't entertain those thoughts at all. It's kind of like if someone were to tell you, bro, think of you fucking your grandma. You'd be like, what the fuck? What the hell? No, I'm not thinking about that shit. It's the same thing with anxiety and depression. If you're ever anxious about something, don't entertain the fucking thoughts. And if you're depressed about something, don't entertain the thoughts. Don't feel sorry for yourself. A true test of my mental 
mental toughness was when I was 18 and 19. These were two times. So my number one fear was flying. And when I turned 18, I was like, dude, I got to get over this fear because I was modeling at the time. And the only reason I stopped modeling was because I was afraid of flying because my modeling agency was wanting me to go to New York and do shoots and go to Europe and do shoots. And I was like, oh, I'm not flying all the way to New York. I'm not flying all the way to Europe. So I tried to get over the fear when I was 18 and I booked a plane for a discovery flight. It was literally a prop plane. One of those small prop planes, only seat like two people. And I thought that would give me over my fear because I was more afraid of commercial flights. But I did that. I, I used my strategy of not thinking about it and I just did it. And then when I was 19, I got over my fear of actual commercial flights, like a jet. And the truth is, I'm 20 now, and I still suffer with this shit every single day. But you just fight the thoughts off. You just don't think about it. It's literally that easy. Yeah, it sucks. Sometimes, sometimes like the anxiety takes over, but I don't let it take over. Sometimes I'll have those thoughts in my back of my head, like, oh shit, anxiety. I'm going here. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Oh, she's coming here. Blah, blah blah blah. I just don't think about it. I just go, okay, yeah, whatever. I don't give a fuck. I just, you just have to stop thinking about it. But the truth is, it never kind of goes away. Your mental toughness just gets stronger.